My name is Amy Sen. I will do the presentation of my paper, Three for Pregnant Women Realignment, Quick Bear Sensor Realignment in W Bank, Case of Pregnant Women. Most of developing countries are fall below the World Health Organization standards about the minimal threshold of doctor midwives and nurse per population. The distribution of the health staff often reveals significant disparities between regions. Some health structures do not have an adequate technical platform need. Often, staff have limited expertise and skills to properly analyze and diagnose some medical conditions. Who recommends women to consult their health providers at last eight times during pregnancy. Unfortunately, some women does not respect these recommendations. Problems. Pregnant women living in remote areas are required to travel from long distances to regions to receive health care services. Childbirth often cause bleeding and unfortunately, most women does not know the blood type. Some birds are not assisted by qualified health personnel. Example of Senegal. In 2070, this rate was at 32%. The purpose of our work is to provide solutions to problems mentioned above, provide quality care to all pregnancy women, avoid unnecessary hospitalizations, stay at home while having information about health care, and see a remote and real-time monitoring to pregnant women during pregnancy period and at childbirth. For doing this, we propose a new protocol called T for Pregnant Women Realignment. T for Pregnant Women Realignment use e-health that can be defined as the use of information and communication technologies in healthcare. Our protocol uses specialized wireless body aerial network which is a type of wireless sensor network that requires a number of nodes to be worn on the body using the human body to collect the health vital things. Each bio sensor measures a physiological parameter and process data to use by the medical staff. Example of bio sensor, we can have a blood pressure, blood glucose, a blood type, sensor for temperature, sensor for oxygen saturation, sensor for pills. Beer sensors have limited capacities. Measured data must be transmitted to a server for continuous storage. For this, the data measured by the biosensor are sent to the coordinator. The coordinator collects all the data coming from the different biosensor and acts as a gateway for outside. The medical data transmission, especially the critical, requires low time latency. Medical staff must have all the required information, especially in injured situations. A loss of synchronization between the coordinator and a beer sensor must be minimized to and treated with urgency to allow fast reintegration of the beer sensor into the network to avoid data loss. Taking into account all these constraints, our protocol is based on E3A. 802.15.4 that is an amendment of 
82.50.4 and use a mechanism on channel hopping that permit access for multi device and avoid the cross technology interference which can decrease the network reliability. Our protocol inherits all the advantages offered by TECH while adding uh, several improvements. With our proposition, for each base sensor, a range of value is defined uh, to identify the health status of the pregnant woman. We can see that the class 1 corresponds to the normal stroke. The class 2 refers to weekly critical data. The class 3 shows critical data. And the class 4 corresponds to very critical data. For each test, a measuring periodicity is predefined. This periodicity indicates the interval time between two successive measuring for HBO sensor. And we can see that more health status becomes critical, more the measures become regular. Such a TC, yes, CH, our protocols time is defined into a fixed period just are called time slot. The time slot is a defined interval of time designed for specific operation like the sending of a maximum size data from the sender to the receiver. A block containing a number of time slots that automatically and cyclically repeat over time is called slot frame. Our protocol typically use 18 channels for communication to avoid interference. Our protocol defends four template structures depending on the health status of the pregnant woman. Each template has 15 minutes duration. In normal status, on measure is taken by bio sensors through the duration of the slot frame. In weekly status, the bio sensor can take three successive measuring at a regular interval of five minutes during the slot frame. In critical status, measuring should be done every minute. Slot frame can support 15 measures seconds numbered from sec 1 to sec 15. In very critical, in very critical status, measure becomes more frequent. We can see that it allows to get 30 measure seconds numbered from sec 1 to sec 30. For each measure, the, the coordinator dedicates a time slot called it TS to each bio sensor. The first time slot of each slot frame is reserved for sending the enable beacon message by the coordinator to bio sensors. Receiving this message permits bio sensors to know when to transmit, when to receive, or when to sleep. After having received all the data from the bio sensor, the coordinator generates and sends a broadcast message called it EB plus to all bio sensors. Bio sensors may wake up on the 70th time slot to receive the message uh, enable button plus and check if the transmission during the dedicated time slot was successful. Bio sensors that coordinator has not received its data will be allocated another time slot plus for a transmission. A bio sensor that not benefits a time slot plus will know that his transmission was successful.
the message enable plus is also used to inform the person so about the time of the next measuring to intervene more quickly in critical situation. Permutation between solace frame time slot. After each measuring seconds, the coordinator check if the health status has changed. If yes, the template corresponding of the new state is loaded. Else, the coordinator continues with the current slot frame. With TSCH different the coordinator waits to receive a message or a notification from or not before responding with an acquitment for a realignment. The not can send the message or fun notification on a channel different from the listening channel of the coordinator. In this situation, the coordinator will not be able to receive the message. Another problem, before reintegrating a, a BS sensor on the network, the coordinator should then search in her device list. If a record is found, the coordinator should send a coordinator Realignment command to the orphan biosensor. The coordinator realignment command does not contain all the useful information because considering that a lot of information are already available in the memory of the node when it's synchronized to the network at the first time. This policy is not adequate for our cards. In our card, the slot frame template structure is dynamic and change depending on the health status of the pregnant woman. Therefore, a bio sensor integrating the network must have all the information, especially the current measurement frequency to know the time of the next measuring and the current slot frame template structure. Our proposition allows the coordinator to anticipate for a fast rail element for disconnected biosensor by using a regular sending of keep alive message to keep synchronization between the coordinator and the biosensor. Sending this message can help the, our protocol T for pregnant woman rail element to determine quickly a loss synchronization. Each biosensor sends a keep alive message to the coordinator every five seconds to prove that it, he is always synchronized. The first sending start at t equals n plus five seconds with n corresponding to the time slot period allocated to the biosensor. You should be repeat every five seconds until the duration of the current measuring frequency is not reached. The coordinator is turn also must also respond with a broadcast keep alive message to ensure that the message will be received by all the biosensors. Like biosensors, the coordinator repeats this every five seconds. And the first sending start at t equals 1n plus 5 seconds with 1 in equals period of sending of the message enable plus. We consider that a BSN source become orphaned in the two following situations. The coordinator does not receive data for a given bio sensor during its TS and TS plus. This means that the bio sensor fails to transmit or transmit its packet during its dedicated time slots. Or the bio sensor does not receive a message keep alive from a bio sensor. To answer a quick realignment, as soon as a disconnected of on or more bio sensor it notice the coordinator replace automatically the keep alive broadcast message with an enable broadcast message in this case the time slots which are reserved 
for the transmission of the next keep alive broadcast is used for sending the enable beacon message. All the BS also know the period of the sending of the enable beacon broadcast message by the coordinator and the channel use. The coordinator should repeat this operation as long as he starts receiving keep alive message and data from all BS sensors. With this solution, a BS sensor can easily reintegrate the network without initiating a request or fund notification. This helps to save time compared with the TSCH default procedure. Another advantage, by reintegrating the network, the BS sensor have all the information, especially frequency measuring and the slot frame template structure. Also, we see that with T4 premium women realignment, the enable beacon message is always sent in broadcast and therefore receiving by all BS sensors. This can allow one or more disconnected BS sensors to be reintegrated at the same time. The effective use of BS sensor can participate to the development by providing quality care. In this paper, we propose a new protocol called T4 Premium Woman Realignment. The protocol is, is based on the 802.50.4 E TSCH standard and provides short frame whose templates are determined by the health status of the pregnant woman to be monitored. Our protocol also provides a mechanism that permits the coordinator to detect in advance the disconnected BS sensor and then directly start the procedure on the realignment. Thank you for your listening.